Hi there. I'm sitting here in a sunny spot on a windswept hill after there's been a few days of storms and so everything is absolutely drenched with water. And what I wanted to share with you is a few insights around endings. All endings lead to a new beginning. And for a moment, it's really important if we're cultivating an ending or if we're willfully facing into an ending and exerting our will to draw an ending and a closure on something that we really trust ourselves. We trust our mind, we trust our heart, we trust our gut and we listen to ourselves. That we also say to ourselves, I trust myself to navigate my way through this. And therefore we can tap into really ancient inner wisdom by listening to our own voice. Today I'm going to share a little insight about relationships and an ending. The sooner that you can move towards releasing your stories, your memories, your thoughts, your emotions, the sooner you'll tap into your intuition and you'll hear that inner wisdom and that inner voice. And when you do that, that really supports you so that you can begin to see the direction that you need to take. It feeds your energy field. It feeds your energy. After that phase, and you don't have to rush that phase, it's important that you take time and take it at your own pace. But sometimes we don't feel like we have a lot of time. Sometimes an ending happens very abruptly. Acceptance begins to follow anger, grief, loss, thoughts and emotions that arise from the ending, even if it's an ending that we have cultivated. These emotions and thoughts are still held within our cells, still held within our energy field. And tears are very healing. Tears allow that energy to be released. So let yourself cry if you need to cry around your relationship ending or around an ending of some sorts that this may inspire you or help you in some small way. I find water really beneficial when I'm faced with an ending or I'm in an ending phase of my life because I find water very cleansing and soothing. I love its touch on my skin. I find it's such a beautiful healing um, method to use to bathe, to shower, to spend time at water, at rivers, at streams, at brooks, at lakes, walking in the rain. I love all that. And I find water really helps us with our emotions and it helps the movement of our emotions to be released. Allow the tears to fall. Allow the stories to surface, to be heard, to be honoured. Allow yourself to tap in to what's real for you in that moment. After acceptance, you may find that there's a sense of stillness. It's like a pause, like the space between the in-breath and the exhale. And in that space, comfort may soon follow you. Comfort follows part of acceptance. A short story of one of the, an ending that I had, that I created, was that there was a relationship which wasn't a very healthy relationship and it was a relationship that I chose not to have as a friendship and um, and with this person I could see that they had a lot of troubles in their mind and in their heart and that they were basically going to jump from the pan to the to the fire or from the fire to the pan whatever way it's uh, used to describe basically moving from one state straight into creating the same thing again without doing all the inner work they needed to do without doing all the soul searching all the healing all the releasing they wanted to form a very deep and meaningful and loving relationship with me but there wasn't the energy for that to be created and so what I did was I visualised myself and themselves standing in a beautiful meadow. It was beside a river and the river in particular for me was the Boyne River. 
and I closed my eyes and I spoke to them soul to soul and I said the God in me reaches out to the God in you. I wish you peace. I wish you safe passage as you face into these difficult thoughts and emotions that need to be heard and released. And I set you free. I am not in a place to have a relationship with you. And so I release all the energy that has begun to form around this. And then in my mind's eye, which is our third eye, our intuition and a connection with it, with spirit, I began to visualize a beautiful mist rising up from the river. And that mist began to grow stronger and stronger to the point where it was kind of like a fog. And in that fog, that person soon couldn't see me and that I couldn't see them. And so very gently, I held my space and my centre and the God in me reached out to the God in them. And I visualised this person being unable to see me and being able to move away from me. And the distance between us became greater and greater and greater to the point where we could no longer see each other. It's a very gentle, heartfelt meditation. What happened following that event was that I never heard from that person again. I never received a phone call, a text. I never saw them physically. They completely disappeared out of my life. And when I share this story with you, I share it very tenderly because it's a story of unrequited love. And we've all had that experience where we've had very strong feelings and thoughts for another person and they have not been uh, reciprocated and that their energy hasn't been available in order for a relationship or something meaningful to form. That was one of the endings that I created willfully and I exerted my will and my energy in order to enable me to have freedom in my space and for that person to work on the things that they needed to work on in their life. A few more bits I'd like to share with you. Following that story, if this is something that you visualise, it's really important to take a little bit of time following the release and following the letting go. Our thoughts regulate our chemistry. So with every thought that we have, we have an emotional signal and that those emotions are triggered through our nervous system and through our endocrine glands. And it creates an energy field. It's part of our electromagnetic field. When you have that ending just before the new beginning, there's a space, there's a void. Be very conscious of your boundaries and protecting that space from an energetic point of view, uh, from a metaphysical point of view, from a spiritual point of view. Because within that void, life can bring all sorts of opportunities to you. And it's really important that you're really clear in your mind and in your heart and in your energy field about what it is that you feel is your soul's calling and on your soul path. Because I created that ending willfully and peacefully, it created a sense of peace in my life. And I was able to transition from that ending and from that space into the next phase. Take time to think things through and take time to process your thoughts. Journal, have baths, showers, take time to spend, um, I suppose, time in nature, go for walks, time around water, around the support of trees, the rootedness of trees and mountains. Take time to yourself and welcome in the new possibilities that you're able to draw towards you through your electromagnetic field, through your energy field and know that you are magnetic, that you can draw um, people and circumstances and materialize, things can materialize uh, for you in your life. Move towards 
joy in your heart and gratitude. Expressing gratitude in your life and expressing joy of who you are, that you accept yourself, that you're enough and that you have love for yourself. Not in this kind of uh, narcissistic way that we see a lot on social media and in the world at the moment, but in a way where you love yourself, where you know that you are connected to a higher power, to a spiritual energy, to a much more expanded presence in the world. Just before I go, I'm going to put my hands together. I'm going to show and remind you to take a deep inhale through the nose, belly rise. And exhale through the mouth, belly fall. And inhale, belly rise. And exhale, belly fall. And again, third breath. And exhale. Know that this story that I have shared with you and this information is from my own personal experience. Everyone does things in a different way. This is one of the ways that I have learned how to uh, face into endings and new beginnings. I'm a healer. I'm a soul seer. Very intuitive. I provide psychic readings and coaching. And if you feel that you require some support as you face into many changes which are going to occur in 2022, um, please get in touch with me if I can give you support in some way. We can start a conversation about what that would look like for you. Take time, be gentle and love yourself. God in me reaches out to the God in you. Thank you.